Awe, are you ready to head up river? I am Cursar Lucullus, and my orders are to escort you to the Legion's camp at Fortification Hill. Are you ready to go? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. Not even tribal chieftains received this honor. You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. All who are not Legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. Wale, as you wish. My orders are to wait here until you're ready to make the trip.
Awa, true to Kaiser. True to Kaiser. Awe, are you ready to travel to the fort? The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Kaisar strictly forbids the use of chems and alcohol. By his order, all visitors must also relinquish their arms upon entry. If you come in peace, then there is no reason to not disarm. You will not be harmed unless Kaisar wills it. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. Awe, true to Kaisar. Awe, true to Kaisar. You may proceed. Your belongings will be returned when you leave. So I hear the Hancho one. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. Shoot. Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. No, sir. I'm an independent trader from Arizona. All right. I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legat Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. He's the best the Legion has to offer. Or so the legionaries say. Brute of a man, wears a fancy metal mask in a battle. He killed one of my pack Brahmins simply because it was in his way. I knew better than to complain about it, though. Have a look. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I'll grab my tools. Be seeing you around. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again.
Excuse me. training to become a full legionary. Oh, well. I'm harsh on the children, but they'll be excellent legionaries. I'm quite proud of them. Way. True to Kaisar. I'm looking forward to getting sent across the river. If you're injured, I might have healing powder to spare. I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries, healing powders and all that. I'm always running low on Xander root. Plenty of rock flowers, though. Oh, I've been using two roots per flower. Thanks to you, I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. For sale? I'm a slave, not a merchant. I could give you some healing powder every day, but you'd have to be a friend of the Legion. Okay. Slaves have been spreading stories about the bird man. None may enter without Caesar's permission. None may enter without Caesar's permission. Slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone.
Kaisar awaits you. We can talk after. Kaisar awaits. You can speak with me later. So I finally get to meet the courier who's accomplished so much in so little time. That's why I summoned you here, right? I mean, a man nearly kills you, and your response is to track him across the breadth of the Mojave? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat? You visit the tops, and next thing you know, the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup? When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. Benny is my prisoner. You don't deal with him unless you've dealt with me. Don't worry. You'll get the platinum chip he was carrying, and then you'll use it like I tell you to. I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting... There's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. We'll talk again when you've destroyed... I suspect you'll be a valuable asset to the Legion. Assuming you're really on our side, of course. There's a gambler. Martina Grosbeck, who has a knack for learning other people's secrets and passing that information along, for a price. The Omertas, who run Gamora, have become suspicious of Martina's frequent visits to their casino. Soon they'll pay her a visit of their own. Besides the gratitude of the Legion? Don't worry, you'll be paid in coin or caps. If you have to, I really don't see what there is to consider. Ah, yes. We are forbidden from speaking his true name. He was a shaman of some kind before he met Kaisar, a holy man from out of the Utah. The burn man proved dangerous, unpredictable, and impossible to kill. He helped Kaisar form the Legion, but almost led it to destruction. As I said before... Good. Played whatever is down in that bunker, not before. Our way. True Our to way. Kaisar. True to Kaisar. It is a great honor for anyone outside the Legion to get an audience with Kaisar. No. Legate Lanius is Kaisar's second. 
The Legate replaced the Burned Man after the Legion's defeat at the Dam several years ago. We recently obtained an artillery weapon, but we don't have the part or the skill to fix it. The best marksmen of the NCR are usually at the rear of any battle. The gun will allow us to strike at them. The tribe calling themselves the Boomers is obsessed with such weapons, I've been told. You can probably find a spare firing mechanism there. Wale. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. Yeah, well, laugh it up on your own time. Down to brass tacks. How'd your meet and greet with Baldy go? I'm the most interesting person I know. We were east of Vegas when the first Securitron we ever saw rolled up on us. We junked it in a minute flat. The next day, 20 roll up, so we listened. Said we'd been selected. Vegas needed us to defend it. In exchange, we'd get cushy digs, full stomachs, medical treatment. Everything a nomad never gets, in other words. Most of the tribe thought we should say no. I thought it was the best idea ever. Now, in the way back, we called ourselves the Boot Riders. Silly name, but that's how we rode the Mojave, dig. On our feet. We were nomadic badasses not to be trifled with. A gang of ruffians, though, with a certain panache. When House gave us the tops to renovate, his robots dropped off boxes full of suits and ties and wingtip shoes. Told us we were the chairman now. That caused an uproar, but I said the name sticks. Chow to the old ways, baby. Time to swing in style. If the shoes fit, you wear them. I prefer the term relocated. It took every stealth boy I had to cross the river at Cottonwood Cove. That was a close shave, riding a boat full of Legion boys. Once I was across, I changed into a uniform. I swiped off a dead Legionary outside Nelson. Tried to sneak into the bunker, but that didn't work out. They found the chip. I wasn't gonna tell them what it was used for, but let's just say they were persuasive. Seven years. Took over three days after Mr. House introduced himself. Our chief at the time, mountain of a guy named Bingo, wanted to stay nomadic. I disagreed, so he challenged me to the knife. He looked so surprised when I stuck that knife in his neck. Thought he was so tough, but he was so slow. That's how I made chief. It's how things were back then. Go on. Which greedy overlord do you want to start with? Go on. Try not to smile so wide, baby. You might break your mouth. Yeah, Baldy said you'd get to decide. So which way are you leaning? Yeah, to die in my sleep at a ripe old age after a marathon session of Hey Hey with 30 sex star broads. You'll set that up? Look, I ain't a harbor for illusions. I ain't expecting to get out of this shindig alive. That's why I'm trying to hand you my scheme, baby. It's called having a legacy. The direct approach, eh? Fair enough. But you should wait until the bunker's taken care of. Caesar won't like it if you eat dessert first. So you keep saying. You do that for me, baby? Don't tease if you don't mean it. Yeah, real popular around here. It's a crowd pleaser.
my name. Awe, true to Kaiser. None may enter without Caesar's permission. Kaisar has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Kaisar has forbidden you to leave until you've carried out his will in the great underground vault. Wale. to Kaiser. to Kaiser. You're ahead of schedule. I suppose it's just as well. This is where I wanted you to end up after all. I knew I could rely on Caesar to give you back the platinum chip. It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a kind of barracks. You'll understand soon enough. That's rather obvious, isn't it? The platinum chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense, as are the punishments for not doing so. All 
Please stand clear. This is the...
interfere with security operations.
You've carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confiscate your equipment again. You're free to leave. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. There are rewards for doing as I command. Today, your reward is vengeance. You get to decide how Benny dies. Go to Benny. Let him know what you've decided. My Praetorians will perform the execution, unless you want to perform it yourself. Consider it the first of many bestowments. So, baby, what did you find down there? I see. And how's that gonna happen? I see. Keep it simple, eh? Around here, it's one of the better options. Nah, I'd rather see it coming. Do it, baby. Make it clean.
I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. Oh. A fair yeah. kill. Away, true to Kaiser. I'm sure you found Benny's demise pleasing. The destruction of an enemy? There are few things more satisfying. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. It's called an auto doc. As the name suggests, it's an automated physician, more or less. He can treat broken bones, cuts, punctures, scrapes. Sometimes I bestow its use upon someone I favor. Makes for a powerful gift in a culture that forbids painkillers and is largely ignorant of medical science. Good. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Howdy. Good seeing you again. All right, kid. Be good.
Howdy. Good seeing you again. Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid, and I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering, so I'm just gonna make him suffer. That's what I'm gonna do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just gotta find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Adieu.